Hey guys, so with the Super Mococo Express coming to an end soon, a lot of people are scrambling to get their characters engravings together. Whether that be for the first time, second time, third time, a lot of people are just looking to get their engravings together. So I wanted to take this opportunity to make an updated guide on how to most effectively and most importantly, cheaply put together your character's 531. Now in the past, it has always gone like this, right? You wanna take a look at your stone first, then you look at your necklace, then we look at our earrings, then we look at our rings. And that has kind of been how people have typically taught you to take a look at your accessories and engravings. And of course, we throw in the book somewhere in between, right? Either at the beginning or at the end. But I think there needs to be an updated method because things have changed a lot in the world of Lost Ark. I think rather than looking at it as a very linear experience, we should take a look at it more like this, most expensive to least expensive. Because these days, your necklace might not actually be the most expensive item because you can actually build a 531 build off of relics and legendary or relics and ancient accessories, right? And oftentimes those six, three ancient accessories are gonna be more expensive than your relic ones, even if it's on like a relic neck, for example, right? So I think we need to be a little bit more flexible with how we're looking at building our characters for that reason. We need to take a look at what's most expensive and what's the least expensive. And also in this, I wanted to cover engravings because I think there's a huge, huge common misconception with how you should be building your engraving books or buying your engraving books. In Lost Ark, there is a lot of information that was given and created from content creators at the beginning of the game, when the game first launched here, or maybe even before when people were playing in Korea and the game wasn't out here, right? That information was very, very good back in the day, but it has not been updated to suit our version of the game in 2024. And where I want to start with that is in the engraving books. A lot of people still buy grudge books as their first engraving book. And while I would say that that's not necessarily a bad decision, I don't think that's the best decision anymore. And we'll explain that just by looking in game, right? So let's take a look at these characters and their engravings. What does this character have? Okay, they have Thai Adrenaline, great, fine. What about this character right here, not mystery? This person has a cursed doll um, grudge book. Okay, Crystal Grudge. Now, let's take a look at another DPS character, Suzuki, right? Okay, time to hunt Grudge, okay? Now, Caramel, oh, they're on their Chaos Dungeon build, that's fine. Let's look at Min Yungi. oh, this is a support. Let's move over to this guy right here, Vivian, right? Nice Edge Grudge, okay? What about this guy right here, Bixu? This person has a Grudge Raid Captain. As you can see, the majority of DPS players are running Grudge 12 as their book. So when you run Grudge 12, what are you forced to buy as an accessory? You're forced to buy a Grudge 3 accessory. And you know what that means? You're not buying a Grudge 6 accessory. This means that Grudge 6 accessories are super cheap on the market. So if you don't run a Grudge 12 book, you get access to a bunch of cheaper accessories. On top of that, people who are buying Grudge 12 books and using those aren't cutting Grudge 12 stones or Grudge stones. So as a result, you also get access to the cheap Grudge stones as well. So for me, my advice for you in 2024 is to not buy that Grudge 12 book. Yes, it might be very tempting to buy it, but the thing is, there are a lot of other engravings in this game that are just a better bang for your buck. Even though every single DPS class does use grudge, right? The upfront cost of buying grudge and then, you know, the first couple characters is definitely gonna be cheaper because, oh, you're only buying one engraving book for your characters. But as you make more and more characters, the more you use that grudge engraving, the more of a premium you're gonna be paying on those accessories. So I would say rather than looking at grudge, Think about the characters that you want to play and think about the common engravings for all of them. For DPS characters, there's really a lot of engravings that a lot of characters share. For example, most DPS characters these days run Cursed Doll still, Keen Blunt Weapon's another one, 
Adrenaline's another one. Raid Captain's another one. There's a number of DPS books and engraving books that a lot of DPS end up sharing that is not grudge. So even though not every single character might use Raid Captain or Cursed Doll or Keen Blunt or something, the majority of them that you're gonna be playing probably do. So you can think about which characters you might play in the future and make a decision on that. And even with that, right, I would say for the most part, buying two engraving books to 12 is probably the equivalent of buying grudge. And we can calculate that out right now. So in front of me is a spreadsheet that I put together of the prices of engravings in NA West. As you see, this is the gold cost right here. And I guess this one too, I didn't put the, uh, there we go. So this is the gold cost right here of the individual books. And here are the combinations of gold cost of two engraving books. I would say for the most part, if you buy two of these engraving books, Cursed All Raid Captain, you pretty much have all of your characters done. You have an engraving book for pretty much every single one of your characters. Same with Cursed All Keen Blunt Weapon. There's rarely any classes in the game that don't use one or another, right? Now, let's look at the cost. So imagine we're going with the old model of buying grudge, which everybody is doing. It's gonna cost you 81, about 82K to get grudge 12, right? Now, for this cursed doll, it only costs you 22K to get this and 58K to get Keen Blunt Weapon. If we put that together, that's around 80K, which is pretty much the exact same cost as grudge, even a little cheaper, but in return, you will be getting a lot cheaper accessories because you will get to buy Grudge 5 accessories, Grudge 6 accessories that you wouldn't be able to buy if you had a Grudge book, which again, as we've talked about earlier, is gonna be a lot more expensive than the other accessories. Same with Cursed All Raid Captain, right? I think most classes would be uh, covered if you have both of those books. And that's even cheaper, 72K. So as you can see here, buying Grudge as your first engraving just isn't quite the best choice anymore because you can get the same or cheaper cost for buying two 12 books instead of just one Grudge, which again, will open you up to a lot more flexibility when it comes to your future accessories that you're buying because you're not stuck with only being able to buy that Grudge 3 accessory. You can start buying Grudge 6 accessories, which are going to be a lot cheaper because nobody is buying Grudge 6 accessories. Additionally, that also opens up a lot more stone options for you to cut as well. You can be a lot more flexible with your engraving choices with the accessories and your stone as well. So for the most part, I really wouldn't recommend picking Grudge 12 as your first book anymore in 2024. Eventually, you'll probably want to pick it up just to give yourself a little bit more flexibility with, again, your engraving choices, your stone choices, your accessory choices. But as your first book, I think that Grudge 12 is no longer the best option. Okay, so now that we've established that Grudge books are not the way to go, what book should we buy? What stone should we buy? What accessories should we buy? Well, I think that first starts out the question with what class are you playing? I think the majority of people right now looking for accessories and books and stuff and trying to build their class is probably going to be the Soul Eater, right? Now, let's say I'm trying to go Knight's Edge Soul Eater. Okay, perfect. Knight's Edge. What are we? We are a crit-based class, right? Crit Swift class. And then also, in addition to that, what engravings are we using? Well, we use Raid Captain. We use Keen Blunt. We use Cursed Doll. We use Grudge. Of course, we use our class engraving. And then what's our plus one? It's going to be Adrenaline, right? So these are our choices for engravings that we're going to buy. And we're on Crit Swift. So what do we think is going to be the most expensive out of these engravings? Well, in my mind, it's going to be Raid Captain, right? And it's going to be Keen Blunt. These are likely going to be the most expensive ones. How do I know that? Experience. But of course, the market changes and shifts every day. So you should go and check that out yourself. Now you're gonna go in, check the market, check the accessory prices, check all that, right? Okay, boom. We figured out Raid Captain and Keen Blunt are in fact the most expensive engravings. So 
the rule of thumb I have from here is you should try to incorporate Keen Blunt or and Raid Captain into your books and your stones. Of course, one of your book slots is likely going to be filled by your class engraving, right? So this one is pretty much a given. This one's pretty much guaranteed that's gonna happen. So the other engraving book, you should try to fill up with either Keen Blunt or Raid Captain. And then the one that you don't take on your book, you should fill it up on your stone. Now, some people are going to be trying to min-max and be like, oh, well, I'd rather have Cursed All Adrenaline Stone, right? That way, if I get a 9-7, then, you know, it's going to be poggers. It's going to be pog, right? That, you know, I don't have to worry about stones ever again. You can't do that, but Cursed All Adrenaline Stones are pretty dang expensive. And what's the likelihood that you're going to hit a 9-7 stone? Not very high. So we're thinking about, again, this video's goal to talk about the most efficient cost of making your 531, then you should go with, again, my suggestion to fill up one of your book slots with Keen Blunt and one of your um, stone slots with Raid Captain. Now, what, what about the second engraving for our stone? Well, I think that's largely up to you, seeing what the market yields and seeing what the cheapest stone is right now, right? So my Knight's Edge Soul Eater, I went with Keen Blunt as my book, right? And then I also checked the market and I saw that, well, Raid Captain Grudge is probably going to be the best one for me. Those are the cheapest stones to buy right now. And I'm going to cut that one. You could have cut Cursed Doll as well, or you could even use Cursed Doll as your book. Either way works. You know, it's all about flexibility when it comes to your engravings, right? But this was what I deemed to be the most efficient based on the accessories on the market. So with that knowledge, I went and cut myself a 7-7 seven, seven stone, a 7 Raid Captain, a 7 Grudge stone with now a attack power reduction of plus three. Now you can make a five by three by one engraving with a worse stone. You don't need a seven, seven stone to do it, but a seven, seven stone will make things a lot cheaper because you can buy relic accessories. The better stone that you have, the less you have to spend on your accessories. And that's just a fact. So I'd say your goal is definitely going to be a seven, seven stone. Now, I cut my 7-7 seven, seven stone. I decided what my uh, book is gonna be. So now we can start scrounging the market to find out what accessories we need to buy. And of course, with any of these, all this is all about planning, right? So you should have a planner in front of you and put down the engravings that you already have as you go. I use an Excel spreadsheet, but that's just the most comfortable for me. You might want to use one of the websites out there. And you know, if you need some resources, I can link those down below, but I use an Excel spreadsheet. So let's pull up my Excel spreadsheet right now. So this is my Excel spreadsheet. I've already filled everything in. I have a 12 book for Knight's Edge and I have a 12 book for Keen Blunt. And then I have a seven, seven stone with a three on attack reduction. So that's all dandy. Now we have our slots right here. Again, if you want to use something else, feel free to do so. This is just the best way for me. So let's go in and look in the market to see what we can find, right? Well, we can see that I'm going to need quite a few cursed doll accessories. If I have a 15 in something for a 531, likely you're going to go with a six on one accessory, six on another accessory, and then a three on the last accessory. So let's go look for these accessories, right? So here's the market, let's pull it up. We've pulled it up and we're gonna start with what we think are going to be the most expensive accessories, which are our cursed doll accessories because we need a six in those, right? We definitely need those to be ancient and have a six in cursed doll. So let's look at what we need. Let's put cursed doll six right here and then let's start going down the line of the um, engravings that we need to go along with it. So cursed all six, raid captain three on crit, right? So let's see how much this is. 6K for a pretty good quality ring. And actually here's a 7K for an 80 quality earring, not the best, but hey, it's decent. I would probably look at this one first, right? Let's see, look at the uh, negatives attack power oh actually that does not work because that does not work for our stone we can go down here 192 that's also still pretty respectable for crit especially um attack speed reduction three um six three we can put a pin on this right this is one we might consider in the future now let's look and see what other options we have and see if we can make anything cheaper so let's do cursed off six keen blunt weapon three 
Ooh, these are really expensive, especially the quality that we want, right? Let's see if we can lower the quality a little bit and see how much they're going for. Oh, 70 quality, which is pretty respectable for a ring, right? For 5K. Um, attack speed reduction two, that won't really work with this one, but you know we can put a pin on it and see in the future if this is something we wanna consider. Um, 13K for this one, still kind of expensive. Again, you're here just trying to shop around, see what the cheapest things you could find are to make a respectable character. Okay, so we have that. Now let's try Grudge, right? We can try our Grudge three. This might be a little bit expensive because Grudge Crystal is quite expensive. Um, and as we've mentioned before, Grudge three specifically is very expensive. So 17K is kind of the cheapest one for like a decent quality ring. Let's pull it down to 60, 7K, but that's kind of really low, right? This one might be the only one we can go with. So let's check this out, right? Let's keep this in a running list. So looking at these accessories, we can technically build something out of this already, right? I think that, let's see, attack speed reduction two, attack speed reduction two, that works out for what we have right now. We don't have anything in attack speed reduction, of course. So I, and I personally think that this 17K right here for this ring isn't like the worst price. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything better, but let's just put a pin in it for now and put it in our spreadsheet to see if it works out. So let's do this one right here, crystal six, Keen Blunt 3, and then it's Attack Speed Reduction 2, right? And we have another one that's Cursed Doll 6, Grudge 3, and then Attack Speed Reduction 2. So here we go. We have one left in our Attack Speed Reduction that we can use. Now let's go back to the drawing board, right? We have, we still have a couple of things to cover. We need our one in Adrenaline. We need um, the uh, Cursed Doll, Raid Captain, Grudge, and we still need a three in Knight's Edge, right? So Knight's Edge 3 might be another one that's kind of expensive for us to go through. So let's try to knock that one out next. Let's see what Knight's Edge uh, accessories are in the market. The reason why I didn't go with Knight's Edge um, first is because, again, I do think that these 6 threes are likely going to be more expensive than that. Because Knight's Edge you could just do with a Relic and you'll be fine with that in our setup. And Relics typically are going to be cheaper than um, Ancient. So let's go back into the market and look for that. So we'll go back here, we'll take this out, we'll look for Knight's Edge 3, and then we can do Grudge Raid Captain 5, right? Let's try Raid Captain 5, see what that looks like. So 15K for this one right here, 20 something K for this one, honestly, and we can't take the reduction there. These are kind of outside of my price range that I wanna pay. So let's just check out the next one. Let's see Knight's Edge Grudge 5, right? How much are these? Ooh, these are much more affordable. So let's see here. Attack power reduction, attack power reduction. That's a little bit tough right here. Attack power reduction. Mm. That's unfortunate because we cut an attack power reduction stone, right? So that doesn't really work for us. This one, defense reduction 3 could work. But again, it's going to be taking out a ring slot for us that we've already put in place. But honestly, we might be able to find cheaper stuff later for like earrings maybe to replace it. I don't know. Let's just put this and put a pin on it, right? Let's see what else is there. There's also Night Edge Adrenaline. Is this fair? Oh, that is expensive. That is definitely not going to work for us. So look, so far it's looking like this one might be the cheapest for us. So we'll kind of think on that and see if we can find another accessory, right? So we can go back here um, and then like, okay, well, this one was kind of more expensive anyway. So let's see if we can find another uh, Curse Doll 6 uh, Grudge 3 or maybe even a Curse Doll 6 Keen Blunt 3 or a Raid Captain 3, right? Let's, let's see what it works out. So if we get rid of one of these, right? If we get rid of one of them and to get this one, we would actually be able to remove the attack speed reduction that we have and be a little bit more flexible there. So let's go and try to look again for the accessories. So Raid Captain 6, uh, sorry, Raid Captain 3, Curse Doll 6. Hmm, I don't think any of these will work because other than this one, that's attack speed reduction. I don't think we can take any of these. They're all attack power. 
and these are way too expensive and outside of my budget, right? So let's try Keen Blunt again. First all, Keen Blunt 3. What is this looking like? Oh yeah, this was like very expensive. Um, we can take the quality down a little bit and see what we have. Um, we brought, took a look at this one. Oh, this one's also a defense reduction, but it's an earring, right? That's a little bit tough. Again, crit doesn't really matter too, too much. So we might want to take this one, but this one's also, okay, that's an attack power reduction. That does not work, right? And go back, uh, raid captain. Hmm, okay. So looking at this right here, right? This Curse Stall 6 Ray Captain 3 move speed minus 2 doesn't actually look that bad. 73 uh, quality, which isn't the highest, right? But it's okay. It's crit. We don't really need like the highest, highest quality for it. And this is fairly affordable compared to everything else. And it also matches with our um, Malices. So maybe what we do is we take this one off. We put this one into our rotation. And then we can put it into our spreadsheet. Again, we're gonna do this one right here, Knight's Edge 3 Grudge 5 as our ring. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna move it over. It's actually we're gonna take this, move it over here to one of our earrings. And then we're gonna do a Knight's Edge 3 Grudge 5. And then it's gonna be Defense Reduction 3 right here, right? And then a test out of attack speed. What's this also attack speed? This was move speed reduction, right? So we can bring this down and put this as a move speed reduction two right there. So now our mouses are all working and everything is lining up. So we still need these ones right here. Raid Captain, Curse Doll, and Adrenaline. So let's see the next thing is probably gonna be Necklace, right? That's probably gonna be also pretty expensive. So let's take a look at that right there. What about Cursed All Adrenaline? So here we go. So lower quality ones are okay. This one's 40K, which crit main stat swiftness. This is like, okay, we'll see. Um, again, we'll go back to the Cursed All Raid Captain 5 now that we've brought down the quality on it. This one, new speed two does work with us, but this is 50K, which is kind of pricey. If you look at kind of the recent ones, like we've got some cheaper ones that have sold for this, but honestly, it's not like the most outlandish price. This one is also like relatively okay. Swiftness is low, but high crit rate, right? And we're crit main stat, so this might be okay, but attack speed reduction too, we can also take that actually. Let's save both of these to our list. That might be okay. Let's go down to curse doll. Um, so we have, we can also do Adrenaline Raid Captain, right? So let's try that. Adrenaline 3, or Adrenaline 5, Raid Captain 3. How does this look? This one's okay. How does it compare to the other one that we got, right? 48, this is 490 something. Honestly, this one's not looking that bad either. We can probably put a marker on this one, to be honest. This is fairly cheap. Um, it's Adrenaline 6, which is whatever. It's also Ancient, so it'll give us a little bit of boost in stats that way. So, yeah, I'm honestly kind of swayed by this one. So let's kind of take this one instead of these ones right here. And this one was the one that was really expensive, right? So let's take out this one, to be honest. I'm not really moved by this one. It seems a little bit too expensive for my taste. So let's take this out, let's take this out, and let's decide that this is our necklace. So let's go back into the spreadsheet and put that in. Adrenaline six, curse doll three, and I think it was a move speed minus one, right? Boom, now we only have one more accessory left. Okay, so we input this here, raid captain three, curse doll five, and we had just doing 60 quality above, right? So let's see what we can find here. Ooh, 75 quality, but that's a ring, right? We need earrings. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, these are actually fairly affordable, but this one works with what we want. So 287 quality or 287 crit, not amazing, but it works with what we want, right? So we can put this here, put a pin on it, and then we have our setup. 
this one is what we went with. So this is the one that we got rid of. So there we go. We have our setup, guys. This in total costed us 9K plus 18K. And then this one's really cheap, right? This one's like 1K. And then this was 15K. And then this one, last one here is 14K. So if we add that up together, that's about 57K for a full five by three by one accessory setup. And then, you know, we can add on the Keen Blunt books, which from our stats was like 20, it was like 60 something K or something like that, 50 something K. So we built a five, three, one from scratch for basically 100K, not counting the stone, right? If you get really lucky with a stone, you can get that really quickly. If you don't, then it could cost a, quite a bit, but that's just how luck goes, right? Um, but we put together a pretty cheap build, in my opinion, for a respectable quality Knight's Edge 5x3x1 engraving right before the uh, Makoko Express disappears. So this is gonna be the most expensive time for accessories, right? So 100K for right before the uh, Mokoko Express ex um, expires. And we built with the uh, Keen Blunt Weapon um, book. That I would say is not bad at all. Of course, we're not counting the Knight's Edge book right now, but hopefully you guys have you know, built that through your Mokoko Express or whatever it might be. Hopefully you built this off of cheap books or free books, but yeah, so Hopefully that helped you guys with building your characters and deciding how to build your characters in the future. Again, to wrap it up, we go with this philosophy, right? Go with most expensive to least expensive item. Grudge books are probably a no-go, especially if it's the, your first book. And then you start off by just looking at your class, looking at the specs, um, the, the stats, and then going with what the most expensive things are. The most expensive engravings go on your books and your stone, and then you build out from there afterwards after you're done building out your stone. So yeah, hopefully that helped you guys with building out your five by three by one since your Makoko Express is expiring. If it helped you, please let me know down in the comment section below what build you ended up making from this guide. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash every single night. So hopefully I'll see y'all on my stream. But if not, hopefully I see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.